Hi, my name is Representative Ephraim Elliott and you've just been placed on alert. Welcome to the Ellie Alert. I have today my guest is uh, Mr. Moselle, well I'm sorry, Lieutenant Moselle Gibson for the Pine Bluff Fire and Emergency Services. Good morning, Mr. Moselle. How are Good morning, you? sir. I'm Good. great. Hey, um, thank you for coming on the show. And uh, I know that you also are part of BRAVE. Can you tell me what BRAVE is? BRAVE, uh, it's, uh, the acronym is Banishing Racial Animosity Vigorously Everywhere. Okay. It's um, a local chapter of the International Association of Black Professional Firefighters. Okay, so it's it, the only way you can become a part of it is be a, a firefighter. Or no, no, that's that's not oh, necessarily not. true. Uh, we have honorary members, and uh, we also have members that's not black. So, okay. Okay. it's a international uh, organization. We have members as north as high as Canada, mm -hmm. and down to the uh, colonies, the American colonies. Okay. So it pretty much, well, I mean, can anybody be a part of, of BRAVE or? Well, you would have to be a firefighter. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you would have to be honorary. We okay. can We can make you honorary. I, well, hey, that sounds good to me. I most definitely want to be it. Sure. So uh, as an honorary, is it an application or, or something yes. that you put in? Yes, okay. it's an application. And then uh, there's a, a uh, it has to be reviewed and all that good stuff. Of course. Stuff. Okay, most definitely. Um, I tell you, even as a member of BRAVE, what, what are some of the things that BRAVE does? Well, we're fire-based first. Mm -hmm. uh, we do several things in the community as fire-based. Uh, if we have citizens who lost everything, we mm -hmm. can go out and we can uh, do things, you know, give them clothing, items, uh, food if need be, cash donations if need be. Uh, and as far as the organization, we do a tremendous amount of things. Uh, we do a mentorship. Uh, we we sponsor several different organizations to do several different things. For example, we make a donation to the Dollarway Cardinal Tree every year. Mm -hmm. uh, we mentor at most of the local schools here. Right. Uh, we we through the Tops organization, we send a a person to Washington D.C. to see how Congress works. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you appreciate that. <laughs> one. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, and the thing we came here to talk about, the school supplies giveaway, Project Express Start. Out, outstanding. I'll say, and, and a little bit more about Brave as well as um, I, you, you said that I know that you guys do a summer thing right before school to give away supplies. Right, right. Project Fresh Start. Project, Pro Fre Fresh, Project Start. Fresh Start is um, actually internationally based. Mm -hmm. uh, most all chapters do what we call Project Fresh Start is a school supply giveaway, and it's designed to give school supplies to underprivileged kids. Mm -hmm. um, in the eight years, or seven years, not including this year, we managed to give away uh, a little under 13,000 packets of school supplies. Wow. And what we do is we just basically go in and just give all of the basic necessities mm -hmm. for each grade level and package it up and give it away. And, and now anybody can actually go and, and pick these supplies up, or yes. is it an application process? No, no, uh, no. it's we we do it every year at Central Park, which is centrally located in town. Mm -hmm. We we pick that particular place because it's a lot of kids live in that area, and they, the parents don't have to bother to bring the kid. The okay. kid can actually walk up and get the supplies. Okay, so it's in a central location where our children can actually just walk up to and right. receive the supplies. Sure. I know last year, um, uh, I've been coming for a couple years, but last year you, you guys had the balloons out. You, well, I mean, it was barbecuing. I, I, me and my son had a wonderful time. Well, we, we, we incorporated other things in just the school supply. Well, we, we kind of call it a fun day as well. We, mm -hmm. we do hot dogs, bottled water, so mm -hmm. to speak, uh, burgers for the kids as well as we have the, the bouncy things and other right. things for the kids mm -hmm. to do while they're there. And it's also an educational thing. Both universities here, CRK and UAPB come out and try to educate the parents on the college level. Mm -hmm. We have branches of the military to come in and maybe talk to those, you know, 
12th yeah. graders, uh -huh. 11th graders about the military. And we also, starting this year through uh, a grant through JRMC, uh -huh. want to incorporate more of a health issue. Central Arkansas Orthodontic uh -huh. is um, an organization here in the state that provides um, dental cleaning, dental cleaners, yeah. uh, the whole nine yards on that. And they came in with us, partnered with us two years ago. Uh -huh. And so we decided then to, let's, let's do this thing more uh, with uh -huh. the health a little bit more than we've done before. So we trying to incorporate all aspects, you know, blood pressure screening, uh -huh. diabetes screening, things of that nature. And before all of that happened, we bought in the sheriff department and the police department to do the little ID tags and things of that nature for for the little kids that may right. get lost mm -hmm. and, you know, to make it a little bit easier if someone get lost to be found. So most definitely it's an, uh, a day of education. Uh, it's a day of fun. Uh, and also uh, they can actually get fed and I just have a, a real nice time. Real good time. I, I, I remember when I went to the last one, I, my son was running around playing on all the little bo bouncy things and uh, eating hot dogs and being educated. And I, I'm glad that you, you mentioned that with the dental uh, uh, thing as well because uh, there are a lot of people in our area in the Delta who may not have uh, dental insurance. Right. And that's an opportunity for them to uh, at least get a screening and see exactly what they may need. Right. So um, I tell you what, we're going to talk about that fun day or the, the, the supply day when we come back from break. Um, we'll be right back. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. Some things take a while to come back. Three, two, champion, champion. But I've got some good buddies. I guess they're helping me figure it out. Being used to doing something with a cigarette makes it hard to do it without one. But if I can relearn to hang out with my friends without cigarettes, then I can relearn anything without cigarettes. Relearn life without cigarettes. Free at becomeanx.org. A new way to think about quitting. Welcome back to the Elliot Alert. Today my guest is Lieutenant Moselle Gibson, who's with the Pine Bluff Fire and Emergency Services. Correct. Uh, and he's talking to us about uh, the school supplies that the uh, Brave organization, which he's a, a, a part of as well, and, and uh, they're talking about uh, the services that the Brave um, uh, program does for the, the kids in, in our community. So uh, again, Lieutenant Gibson, you were talking about the fun day slash supply day slash uh, all those good things. And um, I noticed that th there were children who also, when they were around, they were able to see some other services like the dental cleaning. Uh, you also mentioned uh, that there there were a person who was checking for, uh, I think, what you say, glucose or something like that. Blood sugar. Blood sugar and stuff like blood, that. So, blood pressure. Blood pressure. So now... Tell me, how has this grown in the last several years? Well, actually, the very first year, um, we did not feel like it would, it would blow up like it did. Mm -hmm. uh, the first year, we, we packed 265 packets, mm -hmm. and we had three times as many people right. to show up. <laughs> mm -hmm. The second year, we went to 1,500, uh, and through Brookshire's, we increased that to 1,750, and we mm -hmm. ran out. The third year we went over three thousand. Wow! And when we realized then that twenty five hundred was about the median. The median. Uh, so there we've been around twenty five hundred ever since. Wow! And and what we do is we break it down to each age group, uh, K through three. You know, get the Denalian tablets or the writing tablets. So we we group that group together. Uh, four to twelve basically get the same thing because they all are or have the same type of curriculum, and then. In 2009, uh, we started um, a college endowment fund okay. with UAPB to mm -hmm. provide scholarships uh, for any student that, that meets the criteria. We partnered with um, 
New Hope AM, AM and E Church in mm -hmm. Cheryl. And they actually come in and do all of the screening as far as the application process and right. things of that nature because, mm -hmm. you know, of course, we're still just right. firefighters. <laughs> uh, but they take care of that part, and we provide all of the school supplies plus backpacks mm -hmm. through novelties for those students. Wow. So you guys are not only, uh, the organization Brave is not only just putting uh, and helping with the school supplies and, and trying to help educate you guys mentor, plus you have a scholarship uh, right. program. Wow, that's a that's a, a whole lot. And all this took place within the last seven years? We started in November of 2003. This will be year eight. Year eight, and wow. So did you guys start off with the, um, uh, endowment or scholarship, or did you work up to the, we had, that? We had to work up right. to that. <laughs> you know, we we are a nonprofit organization with a 501c3 status, mm -hmm. um, and we received donations from everywhere, from okay. individuals to mm -hmm. Fortune 500 companies. Wow. Um, and for anyone out there, we are nonprofit, <laughs> and we would love for you to donate. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that information with you. Yes, sir. Um, it's. We have several foundations, the Walmart Foundation, the mm -hmm. Gerber Foundation, Hartford Insurance, mm -hmm. Scott Air Pack. Uh, we just stretched out all over. Uh, like I said, Central Arkansas at the Dunnick is one of the state-funded mm -hmm. organizations that, that help us locally. Uh, Scott Systems has been big for us, mm -hmm. uh, Simmons, Palm Bluff National. Uh, Tremel's Beauty and Barber, Mr. Tremel has been wonderful mm -hmm. and very generous with us. Um, it's it's kind of unique, you know, to be able to go out and actually, you know, ask an organization to give mm -hmm. to an organization right. that provides for the general public. Right. And you guys actually um, use those resources to go directly back into the community. Right. Uh, I, I don't think any of that is administration, administrative uh, cost, is it? No, no, not at all, not at so, all. So um, 100% of the proceeds go right back into the community. Right, now now to, to make a clarification, we actually pay dues. Right. Mm -hmm. And the money that we give back to say the burnout victims mm -hmm. comes from that. Okay. All of the money raised for the scholarship endowment and the school supply giveaway goes strictly for that. Okay. Uh, now we do several fundraiser events. We have a banquet uh, at the end of the December every year, first weekend in December. That 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 proceeds go to the endowment fund. And y'all have a pretty uh, uh, lavish uh, white party too, right? Well, <laughs> that that would be at the end of this month. Right. It's annually in July, and that money goes towards the school supply giveaway. Okay. So actually, uh, you guys are raising those resources to take back into the community to help our kids. Right. Now, tell me, this last uh, event that was out at the park and had all the, the fun things, are, are you guys, is it is it going to grow to the point where it won't be at the, the central uh, well, park or maybe at the convention center or something like that? We, we, we decided to... Put it there, and I, I have personally every intentions to keep it there, mm -hmm. so it can facilitate the kids. Okay. Um, of course, it's ninety hundred degree weather every right. year, <laughs> and it's it's really hard to go out and buy all of those raw materials, package it, right. ship it, mm -hmm. and then provide it. Um, that's that normally takes June, July, most of August to right. do that. But it's, it's for the kids. It's right. strictly for the kids. It's not to facilitate you and I in that right. air condition mm -hmm. of the convention center. It's strictly for the kids. Right. And, and one thing that the kids actually have a wonderful time. Um, when I was there, as I said, they were running around. They were playing on the bouncy things. They, they were eating. It seemed like it was such a relaxed atmosphere. And I have to also tell you, those big red um, fire trucks was a, a drawing for the kids. <laughs> I know my son said several times he wanted to be a fireman, to jump on those trucks and stuff like that. So you guys are also doing your own, you're making your own, growing your own firefighters in Jefferson County as well. That's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, within the fire department, we have a, an extensive smoke detector program where we provide smoke detectors to anyone that lives inside of the city limits. 
uh, that doesn't live in an apartment. Uh, last year, we took names down and we actually went out thereafter and installed smoke detectors. So it's it's a huge event mm -hmm. that just kind of happens right. in a four hour span of time at third Saturday in August. Okay. Well, um, we're gonna take a break, but we'll be back to talk about that smoke detector program as sure. well. It's one of the many ways to fight osteoarthritis pain. For more information on managing pain, go to fightarthritispain.org. To be a great dad is the most important job in a man's life. But it doesn't have to be hard. All it takes is a few minutes of your time because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome back to the Elliot Alert. Again, I have Lieutenant Moselle Gibson with the Pine Bluff Fire Fighting, uh, Fire and Emergency Services. Services. Correct. <laughs> and he's talking to us about the uh, giveaway that they do at Central uh, Park. Uh, Project the, Fresh Start. Project Fresh Start. Yes. Um, with the kids uh, at Central Park and, and Pine Bluff. Um, you were also talking uh, about the smoke detector program that you guys have, Lieutenant. Can, yes. can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, the program we developed, actually it's, it's always been there. It was tweaked here in the last couple of years. Uh, we received a donation from State Farm mm. for all of the smoke detectors. And it's uh, a program that's provided to anyone that lives in the city. City of Pine Bluff? City of Pine Bluff. Okay. That doesn't live in an apartment. Mm. Um, and what they can do is they can call the Pine Bluff Fire Department. I'll give you that number is 7302046 and just ask for a smoke detector and we just come out and install it for you for free. Wow, so you guys actually, uh, if they call that number, you guys will actually come out if it's a, a house. Now, right. it, can it be uh, if a person is renting uh, or if they own it, it doesn't make a difference. You it just, doesn't make a difference. Okay. You guys yeah. just don't install the ones in an apartment. Uh, no, because uh, that will be provided. Okay, by it the should owner. be. Yeah, it should be provided by then. And you know, the, bring that up. We we actually had a fire last night mm -hmm. where uh, it was a mother and a child was saved because mm -hmm. of a smoke detector that we installed this year. Wow. Oh, I, I know you guys are doing. Uh, uh, a great job, and also I wanted to. I, I read that you guys have um, several people who got promoted. Are they uh, brave? Uh, Actually, everyone that was promoted last week are brave members. Wow, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's just I guess <laughs> kind of coincidental. Coincidence, but, huh? Uh, yes. Well, that that's good, and I noticed like when you guys have the program, it seems like uh, I see more firefighters. Uh, you know, at the event than I've ever seen uh, before. So uh, it looks like you guys have a pretty good recruitment team, huh? Well, we, we in Brave, we have 36 members. Mm -hmm. uh, and through the chief we have, mm -hmm. or the current interim chief, as well as the past three chiefs, right. they've been very generous to us. They give us the opportunity to have the fire trucks there and uh, the smokehouse there. Mm -hmm. and the fact that the ones on duty can rotate through and, and be there to help us with it as well as the members. Okay. Uh, so uh, I want to thank the fire department for being so generous with us on that okay. and to help us to give back to the community that pay our salaries. <laughs> can you uh, again tell us what uh, the acronyms for BRAVE is? The acronym for BRAVE is Banishing Racial Animosity Vigorously Everywhere. Okay. And that, again, that's the goal. It's, that's the goal. It's to to vanish racial right. lines period and and that's great because uh when you when you're fighting a fire it doesn't make a difference what what the racial no no is. it doesn't it, <laughs> it's it's our job to put out the fire and provide um, emergency management services medical services i'm sorry mm -hmm. to anyone i when i go out on the scene i don't see a face i just see a person that needs us and not only are you guys doing that and risking your lives, but you're also coming back into the community 
and giving to the community with these programs. Is that right. correct? Right. Okay. Now, I, I would do this. I know we're running out of time. I, I would also, I made a long list of people that donate, but uh, your community has donated very generously as well. Um, James Word right. provided last year as well as this year. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Ross. Mike Ross. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Mark Pryor. Mark Pryor, yeah. Uh, the city of Pine Bluff, mm -hmm. uh, the county as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's 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 not it's monies that come from everywhere right. we give to the citizens. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, that's uh, that's a program or something that uh, as politicians we most definitely want to do because we know you guys do a, a, a great job. Uh, I also want to ask this uh, question: um, um, What does the future hold for Brave? We just want to do more of the same. We want to try to fine tune our craft as firefighters. Mm -hmm. And as the members of Brave, we want to work on just giving back even more. Mm -hmm. Like I may mention the, the health portion of this, it's, it's fairly new, we, mm -hmm. we're working on that. Uh, we soliciting as many doctors and as many facilities to come out and help us uh, with that portion. Uh, and we, I think we maxed out on how much we can actually give away to, to that particular segment of this town. Mm -hmm. So we want to do the health thing as well. Now, I, I come to find out last year mm -hmm. that we had people as far away as Dumas to come. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, as far north as Redfield. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it, it's not necessarily just the citizens, you know, of this uh, this city or this okay. county. Right. It's it's needy people anywhere. Mm -hmm. We we just want to give. Mm -hmm. That's our whole goal is to give. So uh, uh, one thing that I, I can say, I, I know people around Jefferson County was coming, but we also have people like in Lincoln County and Deshaies County coming to participate as well. Right. Okay. And they can, they can be uh, honorary members of Brave. They, they can be honorary members okay. of Brave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, um, I'm going to give you an application. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I've, I, I'm sure you know I, I've always participated in, in you guys' program, of and uh, I think it's a wonderful program, and uh, I'm glad that we can get the message out for the weekend. Um, can you tell us what day and what time it, it's going to be? In, uh, sure, okay. sure. It's going to be August the 13th at 9 a.m. Uh, we found historically that we have kids showing up at 7 o'clock in the morning. We, we're out setting things up, and they're already there. Mm -hmm. You know, just asking, can they do anything? Asking, what do we do? Asking, why do we do it? So, uh, we just, 9 a.m., it's normally the weekend before school start in the area of schools, mm -hmm. and that, it just so happened to be August the 13th this year. Okay, August the 13th, 9 a.m. Now, it's 9 a.m. until what, what time? It's, it's normally 9 until 1 or 9 until we give everything okay. away. And, and that's pretty quick <laughs> well, with the amount of kids that it, it, it happens fairly fast, but we stay until the last person leave. Okay. So it, there will be food, fun, and supplies given out uh, August the 13th. Right. And uh, anyone who is interested, uh, they can also contact a Brave or contact a member of Brave and sure. let them know that they want to well, donate. Can you uh, tell us once again how they can contact Well, I, I tend to be that person that, okay. that be the catalyst on raising money. Uh -huh. You can uh, send any donations to Brave, P.O. Box 7653, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, 71611. Uh, of course, we are 501c3 status, and any tax information you need thereafter, we'll take care of that part. Um, it's just a worthwhile cause, I think, overall. Uh, as being a firefighter, you know, you have to love people. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's our whole thing, mm -hmm. it's, it's to give to, to the citizens. Okay. Well, thanks again, Lieutenant uh, Gibson, and I just want to let you know you've just been placed on alert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right.